this twist double decrease stitch that we have to do in this pattern. So I got to the point where I'm doing one of them because it was kind of confusing on the boards. Basically with this stitch, you just go ahead and you do one, you slip your first, slip your little stitch marker there, and then one, two, three. So now you actually have four stitches on this. Okay, on your cable needle there, because it's actually easier to do that. Next step on that stitch, you go ahead and knit this next one in the sequence on your working, on your needle here. The next step it's asking you to do is take your one, two, and sorry for the third one went, it's hiding on me. Sorry guys, this third one, and then your stitch marker. Now you're gonna have one more left on your cable needle. You just swing your cable needle to the back like that, and then hold it firmly in the back of your hand there otherwise it gets a little slippery. Now they want you to move your stitch marker back to this needle. And now you're coming to the part where it is a center double decrease. All you have to do, you just slip it like this up. And now what I did with mine is so that way I can get this other stitch off the back of my needle and it'll be less fiddly. I just slip it like that for a second. Then take this next stitch right off your cable needle so you can drop your cable needle and out of your way, like I just did. I don't know if you can hear the sound. <laughs> then slip this remaining stitch for your double decrease out. Now remember, since you are doing the double decrease, you have to knit this one here. And then slip these two right here. It's sometimes a little snug, so don't worry about that. And I catch a couple of plies every once in a while, every time, so don't feel bad. Now the rest of the stitch itself, the sequence counts, needs you to just knit across the end of this row, which I'm gonna go ahead and do.